that when the chiefs of Costa Ghana on 6 March 1844 signed the bond, certain bond, the bond of 1844, with Commander Hill seeking protection from the white people and therefore being the foundation of colonialism in Ghana. Thereafter, the bond was sent to every other chief to sign. It was only one chief, a very sensible chief, who, upon the terms of the bond, having been read to him, made about three profound statements. The first one is that when I sign this bond, it means the white man has become my friend and my superior. My ancestors did not tell me that I will use my stool to serve anybody, black or white. Wow. Number two, even if the bond would make us equal partners, if you want anybody to be your equal partner, you don't have to use your hand to sign anything because when you sign it, you are bound by it and you can never change your mind. And because the human mind changes every day, you don't need to sign an agreement if you want somebody to be your friend. Then the third one, he said, by reading the bond and all the signatures, he did not find a shanty in it. And the Zemes were called Zema Kotoko. The Ashantis were Asante Kotoko. He had no friendship with the Fanti chiefs, so he would not sign and for that matter become friends to the Fantis. When he said this, they lied against him, perpetrated all false sorts of malice and falsehood against Kekwaka, arrested him, sent him to Kekos to try him, because at that time, the aim of the white man was to take all our land, and they did not want anybody to stand in their way. During the trial of King Kewaka, he was asked to take a plea, guilty or not guilty, after the charges had been read to him. And this illiterate but sensible African chief about 150 years ago, decided to keep silent. And they told him, if you remain silent, your silence will be taken as having accepted a guilty charge. And he told them that I am silent because my ancestors did not tell me that as a sovereign of Inzema land, I could be stripped to stand naked before another sovereign and tell that sovereign that I am guilty or I am not guilty. I am above that. <laughs> so in the book, I more or less new international law that one sovereign is not superior to the other sovereign. United States, all its size, Russia, China, with all their sizes, at the United Nations level, they are not bigger than Togo or Gambia. They are all recognized as sovereign states. And this, our king knew this. But the fancy chiefs did not know. They didn't know that. So they went under colonialism. And the worker did not go under colonialism and accepted to be imprisoned and die rather than to be made a slave like many, many years later. Kwame Nkrumah would come and say, we prefer self-government with danger to servitude in tranquility. He was only repeating the words, the conduct, and the bravery of great king Kebwaka. Let me also say, that the Fanti people formed the Aborigines Right Protection Society in 1897, led by people like Mensa Saba 
uh, Jacob was saying, and Alice to protect the lands of this country. West African intelligence founded the National Congress of British West Africa in about 1917. But it took an Ezema man called George Alfred Grant to form the first political party with the aim of winning independence for this country called Ghana. Now, when the road to independence became difficult for the United Gogo's Convention, because it turned out that its leaders did not have the vocabulary, the right political vocabulary to address the issues of the day, God sent another savior to this land, not from anywhere, from a Zemanan company, from a 